Hi guys, uh, a bit more of a cold and breezy day today, but um, we got a project we're working on. We've been working on the shower here, and uh, one of the things we need to do is get this closed up. And to do that, we need a door. So over here, we've got a cutout of some T11 siding that came off of the tiny yurt. We're going to use some of our home sawn lumber for this. And we'll add, uh, add these pieces in here so that uh, it makes it look kind of uh, barn door sort of an arrangement. I think we'll put something kind of together like that. We've got some surface hinges that we'll end up using on it. Put a couple of cross buck braces in it just to help keep the material flat and give it some style and that'll be our door. Okay, it's cold and windy out here today, but we're going ahead and getting our uh, outbuilding for the shower done and uh, this is the progress on the door so far last time we showed it uh, we had the trim pieces on it but we added across a couple of crosses to it and now we're putting some carriage bolts into it um, so That'll look like that. Uh, we have some hardware that we'll be adding to it. We got these hinges that we're going to use to install it, just gate hinges. And I guess that'll go something like that.
brain in between there too, so you know how that goes. the door up in the uh, door opening on the shed here and it's a little tight in a couple of spots so it's uh, back on the table here and just have to uh, trim a little bit off of this edge right here because it's just touching the um, outside trim of the doorway and then we can put the hinges back on it and uh, should be able to fit back into the opening without any problems.
and took all the carriage bolts out of it so that I could get the saw to lay flat on the surface without hitting the bolt head. So I'm going to put all that back in. time going up this thing's getting pretty heavy Well, now we got our uh, door fitting up here okay. We're going to put some door stop around it with this 3 inch material that we milled on the sawmill. And that will close off the gap around the door. I'm going to put it in with some screws because uh, we may have to move it after things dry. Okay, for the outside of the door, we've got this handle, and uh, it has got a thumb lever that trips a bar on the inside of the door. So we had to cut out this half inch oval hole here, and we got this latch plate that goes on. This was supposed to be mounted four inches from the edge of the door, but I had to go three to put it where I wanted it, so I may need a little modification to make it work. And this is the bar that does the locking on the mechanism. That trips up and down. And then this plate will get mounted on the jam. And this bar falls into it. That's what locks the door. And then you push up on that handle from the outside and it lifts this bar. And I may have to cut off just the end of this thing to make it operate. And then just as a privacy thing or whatever you can push the lock in this way and drill a hole in the jam so that this uh, bolts into it. I wasn't sure if this carriage bolt was going to interfere with the handle so I left it out but it's going to be good here now so we'll go ahead and install that. And this handle here has this lever that goes into it. And I had to file these little notches in the back. They were kind of rounded over and it didn't allow this to go up and down like it was supposed to. It kept sticking, but it appears to be working now.
Well, it started raining out here a few minutes ago and uh, I didn't want to get you guys wet, so uh, I had to wait a little bit, but anyway. The door is installed. Latch handle's installed. It's got a thumb button on here to unlatch it. And you can see that lever outside lifts this uh, dropping bar here on the inside. And then that bar drops down inside of this slot here. This is going to have to be drilled out back here and then you can actually push the bolt into that to create a deadbolt if you want to from the inside. We have the backstop installed here for the door to hit against. And that goes up all the way around the top on the inside. I'll have to figure out some lighting because it's really dark in here right now so he's a flashlight here so we can see what we're doing but see how this latch comes inside and then drops into place and then when you want out lift the bolt up we're gonna need to put a handle in here so if there's some way to pull on this thing from the inside but otherwise that is it all right now we got the door installed um, we can go ahead and get on with uh, doing the interior work on our shower building. Um, we're going to go ahead and get the floor drain cut out and probably see that in the next video. So thanks for watching and thank you for subscribing. Uh, a lot more to come. Well, it's a bit colder and breezier today, but we're plowing ahead on getting our uh, shower door built here. Or the out... <laughs> Hee <laughs>